Today I was talking about Well Common Project, which is implemented uh, both by the Center for European Policy Study uh, from Brussels and my institute, Institute for Economic Research and Policy Consultant in Ukraine. So our principal concern is actually well uh, to provide a series of materials necessary for Ukrainian policy makers in order to implement association agreement. Association agreement, it's a rather long document, it's approximately 800 pages. According to this document, Ukraine needs to implement approximately 350 regulations and different legislative acts of the European Union. So in this case, it's quite a challenge for the country. We are trying actually to explain to Ukrainian civil servants what should be done, how it should be done, and also, well, we are trying to take into account the fact that European legislation is not fixed. It's constantly in the process and development, so we are trying, well, to actually bridge somehow the lack of expertise in this particular field. Our partners from the Center for European Policy Studies providing expertise in European law, in how European institutions are working and collaborating with the countries like Ukraine. From other side, we are trying to complement both this effort with the understanding of Ukrainian realities, priorities for Ukrainian civil service, and also, well, we are trying also, well, to be, uh, to be quite, uh, quite uh, effective in, in, in political analysis. Well, we have different political parties in the country, and definitely it's very important to explain to them that, well, there are some technical issues which could not be, well, the point for political discussion. They need simply to be adopted in the form of the legal documents, and that's it. No, well, big policy, well, behind the things like sanitary and phytosanitary measures, like well, uh, anti-dumping regulations and some other things. And according to you, uh, mm. uh, in your opinion, mm. um, how important is uh, such a thing like the Ukraine think tank liaison office in Brussels? It's very important because at the moment, actually, well, Ukraine sees a kind of, well, uh, quite a rapid development of the think tanks. And definitely, well, we have our partners here in Brussels, in different countries of the European Union. From the other side, it's very important for us, well, to uh, uh, come together to discuss, well, the issues with our colleagues, to show, well, some of our achievements, and actually, well, to be integrated into the, well, scientific and research community of the uh, uh, European Union. So, well, from this point of view, of course, well, actually, well, you know, well, your presence in the, in the countries like uh, Belgium, like Brussels, first of all, where there is a lot of institutions, a lot of other think tanks, gives us an opportunity actually to understand what are the main priorities of the research community here and what are the kind of opportunities for us well, to participate in different research projects. Pro projects. At the moment, actually, well, uh, of course, we are looking for funds, we are looking for money, but first of all, well, we are looking for the expertise, we are looking for reliable partners, and we are looking for new ideas, well, how to develop the projects and what projects uh, uh, are the most important both for European Union and for Ukraine. And then so, um, um, so what do you think of an event like this? <clears throat> Again, I would like to say that, well, this is a very important event, this is very interesting, and, well, from my point of view, it's a very professional one. So every question, well, from my point of view, is quite serious, it's generated by a kind of, well, certain background of the person who is speaking, and uh, it's very important to have this very, you know, well, professionally biased, not a politically biased, a politically biased discussion.